Run them jewels fast, run them, run them jewels fast, run them, 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 fuck the slow mo. Run them, 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 run Hit us in the comment section. So this week, James, we're going to be talking about Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Gervonta Davis. The lightweight prospect was supposed to be going down to 130 and potentially having a title fight with Jason Sosa. That's what we thought. And then late August, we see on Twitter Gervonta saying that he's being iced out by Floyd Mayweather. He's saying, I'm giving up on a lot of things and boxing might be one of them. Y'all don't know what I've been going through these few weeks. Shit too much. Floyd sit me on the shelf. And the issue uh, is that he's from Baltimore. He's from inner city Baltimore. Mayweather wants him to move, and Gervonta doesn't. Move from the place that got me where I'm at today, he wrote. That's what's wrong with most that lose. They leave their home. I have a mom to feed. What about that? I have brothers, coaches, loved ones. My city loves me, and it will never change. So what did you think when you saw that? Um, first things first, he wanted him to, um, you know, Go to Las Vegas from Baltimore. Um, that way he can kind of keep an eye on him a little bit better. I had a little bit of a problem with first him doing this on Twitter. Javante. Uh, yes, with Javante uh, putting this on Twitter. I mean, Mayweather is a million dollar connection in the fight game. And I mean, when you look at you know, the Instagram videos of, you know, Javante on a yacht with Mayweather. And, like, it's not a lot of young fighters that get that type of treatment. Um, Floyd, he did say, and somebody want to uh, get the quote? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, Floyd said in late February, there was a press conference for Adrian Broner versus Ashley Theophane. At the end, all the press wants to talk to Floyd because, of course. Right. And so he pulls up Javante standing right next to him, and Floyd says, I look at him like a son. He has a nice car. I put him in a nice home. He comes from a rough background like myself. I tell him the ultimate goal, the big picture, is for you to bring your family to a better environment, for you to live in a better environment and not go back to where you were before because anything can happen. When you go back to the inner city, it's okay to go back to give and help the less fortunate. But when you reach a certain level, when you've got jewelry on, nice watches, nice cars, People that don't have those types of materialistic things are extremely jealous and want to hurt you for those things. I only want the best for the kid. I moved him to a better environment. He makes mistakes. He goes back to the inner city. But I tell him, you know what? That's not for you. Um, I got to side with Floyd on this one because number one is Baltimore. Like, Baltimore is the home of the wire. Like, Baltimore is pretty rough. And... I like I still believe that if he's, you know, put him up in a house, um he's he's basically bankrolling the kid. It's like, yo, um that's like basic hood rules. Like if somebody takes you under your wing, you're like you kind of got to do what they say. Especially at that level when I mean, name any young fighters that are, you know, balling out to the level that Javante is. Like you won't see any. Yeah, so he's from Sandtown, Winchester, which is the neighborhood in Baltimore that, um, unfortunately, the uh, Freddie, Gays, Freddie Gray case happened in. Uh, right. You know, he doesn't get in trouble so far as I can tell. I don't see any arrests in Maryland on his record. I mean, mind you, he could be doing stuff and not getting in trouble, but he's Can been be a boxer true. for a long time, and he's not getting in trouble like Adrian Broner is. He's not getting in trouble like Kelly Pavlik right, or right. Paul Spadafore or a whole lot of these other guys, but he is from a rough neighborhood, and, you know, why would Gervonta want to stay there? Um, I think friends, I mean, is he 21 or 22? He's pretty young. Yeah, he's very young. I think 21 or 22. Um, and, you know, he's been elevated to celebrity st status just off the TMT name and him hanging with Floyd. And I think Floyd is right. Um, I think Floyd might be speaking from some of his own experiences. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of lean to the side of experience in this one. And I think Floyd is right. I mean... Like I said, if he's front the kid, bankrolling him on money, it's like, hey, man, he's feeding you, you know? It's an investment, and it's it's not about 
necessarily worrying about what Gervonta will or won't do, but worrying about what everybody else is going that on. Too. And you look at somebody like Clarissa Shields. She's 21 years old. Uh, as the documentary shows, she comes from a very troubled background in Flint, Michigan, uh, was abused. Uh, her mom doesn't have much money. She doesn't really get along with uh, her mom's boyfriend at the time. And so she wants to go to Florida where there's a better life. I can understand how tough it is to move away from your family and from your friends, especially when you are that young. But it's not only the getting away from Baltimore thing that's important. It's what's waiting for him in Vegas. It's a better life. And it's also the gym, the Mayweather Boxing Club, and all the fighters that you get to train with and the trainers and what that gets you out there. Um, I definitely agree there. Um, I watched that documentary with Clarissa as well. A um, couple points about that. When she did win her second medal, she tweeted Floyd and was like, hey, show me love. Like, that to me kind of shows like, you know, that hungriness and that, hey, I will do anything for that platform that you can provide me. You know, I, I went, uh, sometimes I use Twitter as a gauge to see like, um, how big, you know, of a following each uh, fighter has. Um, Javante's right around 15,000. Clarissa had to get two gold medals to be at 17,000. And I think that's, I mean, of course, it's women's boxing, and it's not as much, you know, people are watching that. But I feel like for her to have to win two gold medals, to get that type of following, and, you know, Javante hasn't... You're saying that that's the Mayweather effect, that because Mayweather endorsed Javante, he wants everybody to follow Javante. He's one of the latest fighters to say, this is, you know, the next Floyd Mayweather. Uh, this is the guy that's going to take my place in the sport, that all these people are following Javante because of that. I think it's a lot of it. Don't get me wrong. Javante did work hard to get where he is. But I think association with Floyd just takes your status to another level. And I feel the same way, like, uh, when he took Broner kind of under his wing, under his wing for a little bit, that Broner status grew that much more. And I think, um, at the end of the day, you want to be a fighter who can sell a pay per view and cash out. And you want a lot of people to buy it. <laughs> and if he's giving you looks, if he's got eyes on you, hey, it's worth it to me. Fighters always go away to training camp, often go away to training camp to get away from distractions, even when it's not coming from a bad neighborhood. So, you know, what's wrong with getting away from Baltimore and going to Las Vegas? The, the thing, again, he's not getting in trouble but when you do have that money like Floyd Mayweather talks about when you're in a, a neighborhood where I think it's one third of the homes are boarded up in Sandtown Winchester mm. where unemployment is huge and somebody knows that you've got money they're going to be coming around saying hey Gervonta can you do this for me right. and you know you can't spend your money on everybody because then you turn to Manny Pacquiao or MC Hammer right, those right. are two extremes right there right, right. but no it's true I mean you see it in the sport all of the time and um, I really think it's it's more about growing pains for Javante. I don't think he wants to leave his friends or them to feel like he abandoned them. I, I feel I, you. Because at the end of the day, like, I mean, he said, I have a mom to feed. And I mean, there's Western Union. You can wire her money. <laughs> like that. I mean, he can do those type of things. I think he just really wants to physically be around his boys and and family. And, and you're right. You know, the airing out of grievances on Twitter is not the way to do things. I never thought, by the way, we would be in the era where Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the voice of reason. Psh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't either. But, um, I mean, the, the guy still does have experience. So, hey, I, I side with him in this one. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we'll see in the coming weeks or months whether Gervonta Davis versus Jason Sosa goes forward. Uh, you know, when the promoter or the manager is the one fronting the money, they're the ones who are going to expect the returns. They're going to expect a certain behavior. Uh, it'll be worked out. If not, I'm sure we'll probably see something from Gervonta on Twitter. Probably. <laughs> real soon. All right, this has been Fighting Words Radio. I'm David. And I'm James. And if you liked what you heard, uh, please subscribe to us. If not, hit the comment section and let us know.